Ces hommes que vous voyez ne sont pas en train de faire des vidéos drones pour leur compte Instagram, pour un clip du PNL. Non, ni Braz et Sumon cartographient cette zone côtière du Bangladesh. Mais pourquoi faire Eh bien c'est ça le sujet de notre vidéo. village of Puijala, which is in the Union Shriula of Shatkira uh, district. The area is one of the most climate vulnerable areas in the world. Regular cyclones, uh, tidal surges, storm surges, uh, water logging, that's the uh, big challenges of the area. The area also faces uh, freshwater scarcity, erratic rainfall and uh, lots of other uh, problems. The biggest problem are the embankment breaches and the overtopping. Uh, most of the embankments in the area are earthen embankments that decay every three to four years and that uh, causes the water from the river to enter inlands and inundate the entire area. Since this is a low-lying area, there's water logging. Uh, we have experienced water logging even for two years where people could not go out from their houses or into their houses. Le Bangladesh est l'un des pays les plus touchés par la crise climatique. Avec la montée des eaux, le pays pourrait perdre près de 17% de son territoire. Les inondations et les cyclones plus fréquents détruisent déjà les champs et maisons des habitants de la côte. Alors pour faire face, Action contre la faim participe avec une association locale et des chercheurs de l'université à un projet novateur appelé Special Search Forecasting Using Artificial Intelligence and Community Knowledge for Inclusive and Transformative Early Actions. Bref, sur IT. Nous voulons développer un kind of, mais since there is no warning, If we can develop kind of warning system for this uh, problem, then it will be a great help to the community. For example, the cyclone, uh, you know, when people, the different organizations provide warning, some people listen to that warning, many people don't. Why? Because it's a, they never saw that it was effective always because it's a very general warning. But here we are developing a location specific warning based on the water level and also the position of embankment. So I can give you a right message and that will be very effective for you. So that's our aim. The science alone cannot solve it. We need local level organization. We need like, it's like SEF, human return organization who have very technical international level skills. We are going down to the village, talking to the community, using the local level knowledge with local NGO like Uttaran and the humanitarian organizations like SCF, they have the expertise. We went to them, discussed about the embankment issue, identified the fragile points in the embankment so that we can see the characteristics of those locations, why they are fragile, what are the issues there, is the water pressure, is the other factors that we learn from the community. Et le drone de Nibras et Soumon, c'est fait pour ça. Il permet de cartographier les zones mentionnées par les habitants et d'identifier les failles et les vulnérabilités. We are trying to do a 3D mapping of the embankment. So uh, we have a, a LiDAR drone that captures the uh, digital elevation model of the embankment. At some places it's narrow, it's wide, it's high, it's low, and you can't really uh, figure that out just by measuring with any other means. And so what the drone does is uh, generate accurate measurements of the embankment which then we can use to create calculations and predict uh, the vulnerable areas the weak spots of the embankment every season we have to repeat the entire 166 kilometers of the embankment because uh, every season there are uh, disasters there are breaches over toppings and so uh, a lot of repairs take place and so we have to fly dro uh, the drones every season This LiDAR and drone images helps us identify the uh, surface level uh, distortion uh, in the study area. What is the, uh, the expert working in, in these images will find out what is the current condition of the embankment, current condition of the land use, land cover of this area. So yeah, uh, we are working on these images, but uh, this is the lengthy process. Pour avoir un maximum de données et pouvoir prédire avec plus de précision les catastrophes climatiques, des sondes hydrauliques, comme celle-ci, ont été installées pour mesurer le niveau des eaux et son évolution. So this is a hydro sensor, a water sensor. Uh, this has uh, the sensors in the front, and that sensor mainly monitors the water level of the river. 
and so they, this has an acoustic panel which uses uh, sound signals to measure the height of the water and now what we are trying to do is study the height of the river uh, during uh, daytime, night time, during high tide, low tide, during rainy season, winter season, summer season, during cyclones, without cyclones, everything. So uh, we are trying to map out and uh, all the uh, seasons of one year. We have nine sensors installed in our study area in Shatkira and Khulna districts. So um, each day the sensors send us, uh, send us water level data and uh, we receive continuous data for, for water level. Uh, we will incorporate this continuous data into machine learning algorithm so that uh, the machine learning can find out their nature and predict the future water level. The objective of this project is to predict the water level of those specific regions and uh, so that we can uh, make an early warning system for tidal search. So we have here the machine learning team, we have remote sensing team, uh, we are working on economic analysis, uh, we have hydrogeological analysis. So this is uh, a huge group and a multi-dimensional group. So all the groups and all the experts and research associates and assistants are working hard to make this project a success. The, the power of machine learning thing is because they can analyze considering different dimensions which possibly is not possible with the normal statistical tool, right? So it's basically machine learning is giving you more precision in terms of the prediction that you will be developing. For example, is that one day warning you are developing or five day ahead you are developing warning. So that we are playing with this data so that we are training our models with different types of data so that we can provide warning a bit early so that people can take better preparation. En attendant les résultats du projet, les équipes d'Action contre la faim forment les femmes, des communautés les plus à risque, à des techniques d'adaptation. Elles permettent de limiter les dégâts des inondations et des cyclones sur les cultures, l'eau potable et les foyers. Tanzila est membre du comité des femmes du village. Elle a reçu une formation de préparation aux urgences dans le cadre du projet STEP, lancé en parallèle pour soutenir les foyers. Step project er afara mane korle nei je anli action pelan. Kwa kono amader ghare tana dite hobe. Kwa kono amader saler upor dal thakli kete dite hobe. Kwa kono amader ghare mas thakli tule bikir korte hobe. Ita amra hoyte. Kwa kono cycle ne jete hobe. Ita hoyte zan thamna. Bolse. Kwa kono amra potomoto korle je ghare bhita usukori. Kouto je gulu bolo bolo kouto ase jar bhitor amra mane korle shumno khabar ekhe debo. Chita amra guse rakhi mobile saas korle rakhi toast light saaj saaj de. Kintu amra to korle onno ke bolle. प्रोजेनियो डॉक्यूमेंट्स निर्दिष्ट स्थाने देखे शंका करने नहीं जाए एवं जो दी जो गुलाब है तो बाहरी जिन्हें आसे शेगुलाब है तो गुसाई रखे जाए वो कुछ सार धर्दी निर्दे एवं बोलो मास गुलाब अपना उठाई बिक्री करे एवं छोटा मास गुलाब हवाई रखी इस तरह तक के आम्रा नारी को मिटा रहा Maintenant, vous savez ce que font Ibraz et Soumon avec leurs drones, des vidéos pas très instagrammables, mais qui servent à toute une communauté. Parce que comme on vous l'expliquait dans une précédente vidéo, la crise climatique elle a un énorme impact sur la sécurité alimentaire des habitants de ces régions côtières. Des projets innovants comme celui-ci, il y en a plein, chaque son contre la fin. Et on vous invite à les découvrir en parcourant nos vidéos.